or oats into the yam tuber. They reduce the quality and market value of the yam. Then they reduce the yield. How do you prevent and control yam beetles? Dust the yam set with adrenaline dust before planting. The, 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 the yam set is the part of the plant of the yam that you plant. So you dust it with adrenaline dust before you plant it. Then do crop rotation. The next insect pest is cassava mealybug. It also attacks tubers such as cassava. It twists the it twists the stem and reduces the internal of the plant. Then the roots as the uh, the shoots the upper part are swollen. Then causes reduced yield. How do we control and prevent cassava mealybugs? You spray with insecticide. You use pest resistant varieties. Then you treat the cuttings the stem cuttings of the cassava and do heavy planting. Another category of insect pests is the cotton spinners. They attack the cotton, pierce and suck sap from plants, they produce toxic saliva, they transmit diseases, they reduce the, they reduce the quality of ball and they cause leaf distortion. How do you take care of them or handle cotton spinners? You unpick them, then you spray with insecticide, you spray your plants with insecticide. The next which is the last pest of major crop I'll be talking about now is birds. They attack rice, maize, millet, and so on, majorly seeds. They feed on grains in the field. They reduce the quality and the yield of the plants. They reduce the income of the farmer also. How do you prevent birds? You use a bird scarab or scarecrow. You know, when they begin to hear sounds, they think people are there. So you can make that available on your farm to scare away birds. Then you can use cage that has traps with bait, so you can just catch them. Then you can shoot the birds with catapults. Then you can draw to make noise on the farm. The effect of insect pests in crop production. What effect do they have? Number one, they destroy the crops. They bite, they ball, they chew it. So it's which causes reduction in the viability of the stock produce. When you keep your plants, your seed, for instance, you bought beans in the market, you kept it to be eaten by your family. Before you get there in a few weeks, you discover that beans the two are just come and then destroyed it. You know? It's terrible. They also render vegetables and fruits unattractive and unmarketable. Some of these crop pests. Are, or insect pests are carriers or vectors of disease, e.g. aphids. Then they reduce the profit of the farmer, they reduce the yield of the crop, they sometimes cause a total death of the plants, they increase the cost of production because by the time you are trying to prevent or control them, they are incurring more expenses. So that's how they increase the cost of production. How do we prevent or control pests on a general level now. Just as we add in controlling disease, we are going to use four methods to control them. The physical method, the cultural method, the biological and the chemical method. The physical method includes and picking the insects and larvae. When it's okay, you pick them. You can set traps to catch the rodents. You can shoot the gun at Then maybe you saw a square, you can shoot a gun or you use catapults. Then you can fence your farm round with wire net. Cultural control. Do crop rotation. Use of pest resistant varieties of crop. You do appropriate tillage system. You can use insect traps. Then you burn crop residues. Timely harvesting. Then proper weeding and sanitation. For the biological control. That is the use of natural enemies to feed on those pests to reduce their population. For instance, you bringing a cat to your farm where rats are disturbing you. Then the last prevention method or control is that of chemical control. That is when you use chemicals such as insecticide and pesticide, just like I've mentioned, Gamma 20, DD4, Adrenaline dust and things like that to control pests. That is the chemical control method.